Yo guys, long time no talk. It's been a few weeks, maybe a month. I don't know how long it's been, but you know, I'm glad to start making this video again. Uh, it's been a little lull in life right now, but uh, events kind of died out, so I didn't have any footage. Uh, I went to Pocono uh, for the kind of like the oval of tur turn one NASCAR and uh, what's it called? The uh, the infield, infield, that's the word I was looking for. Had a big oops there, it was raining, I just wasn't having a good time. I just said, screw it to making a vlog that for that event. I was just not having a good day uh, and just wasn't driving well. And you know, sometimes we have those moments and we gotta just learn from those and keep moving on. But the main reason for me being angry that day was this clip right here. At this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, so you saw that clip, that clip, uh, every time I watch it, or I try not to watch it, but when I went through it, you know, just to, oh, it makes you cringe. And uh, I'll put a clip right here, or not a clip, uh, a picture right here of what it looked like uh, up in person. And you could see that the outside portion was pretty badly bent. And, you know, it was just, it was just a bummer. Uh, I, I was like worried all day. It was raining. I, I didn't know if it was going to hold air. It held air all day, so that was, that was lucky. Uh, but... You know, a bent rim, that just sucks. Especially on a uh, $400 wheel, you know? You know, these N NK, Ankai, however you pronounce it, RPF ones, they're not cheap. <laughs> you know, the, the set that I have, I got three of them for pretty cheap, luckily, because they were used in endurance racing. But the fourth one, lo and behold, with my luck, the new one is the one I bent. So, I actually went to a place called Rim Pro up in Tingsboro, Massachusetts, and they did a phenomenal job. Uh, so you guys just saw the photo that I put like right here. Here it is again. And here's the comparison, you know. This is this is what it looks like now. Boom! Ah, it's perfectly circular and the, they fixed the inside. Uh, it balanced perfectly, which is pretty dope. And if you look right here, this is the cleaner spot. You know, you can see all the, the brake dust all around, but this is the clean spot. So there's a little neck here, but these are track wheels. Really don't care if they're rubbed or anything, as long as they're holding air and bent, not bent. Uh, you know, I'm super stoked with this. Uh, just kind of the pricing around here. Um, you know, a 18 inch or 19 inch wheel uh, mounting. Um, I guess what they call a high sensitivity uh, wheel balance. Um, this cost me 174 bucks. Um, you, you can't be mad with that. This is a $400 wheel, 174 bucks, and you know, with with Rimpro, I think they were like the lead or uh, the lead shop that does wheel repairs. I'm super happy. Uh, I might test this at an autocross or I just might say screw it and just go uh, on a track day. I have one planned with uh, Com SEC. I forgot what the anagram for it is. Don't, don't ask me. But oh, my light just turned off. But yeah, I got four wheels again. And these four wheels, we're gonna go to New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It's gonna be my first time. I'm gonna compete with Com SEC. Gonna be super stoked to get back on the track because it's been about a month since, uh, actually like three weeks from Pocono, but like still, that was a, that was a bummer event for me. I wish it was dry. Uh, I was really aiming to beat my buddy Kevin's time, but it was wet and I, Went off course and damaged the wheel, but it is what it is. 